check it out. So the uh, solar panels came in, the Boulder 100 solar panels, and uh, obviously the uh, Goal Zero Yeti 400 lithium came in, I think a day before that. So uh, it's actually the first day it's been sunny, so uh, I kind of wanted to play around with it and just uh, kind of initial impression. So it was fully charged up this morning and um, I charged, I started to charge my laptop and I charged my phone on it a little bit and was just playing around with it. Um, so you can see it's at about 83% uh, now, um, no input, no output. Um, like I said, I was charging up the laptop and um, the cell phone there. So, all right, let me bust out the uh, solar panels and see what kind of, uh, what kind of input we get. It's a nice uh, sunny day here on this part of the grass. So I'll throw the panels out there and uh, maybe I'll plug in some devices and see what the input output looks like. But uh, so far, it's pretty cool. I really like the design. It's super lightweight. Um, the, uh, the solar panels come in this uh, kind of carrying case. It has a handle built onto the panels and it sticks out the top of the, uh, um, the top of the carrying case. And it's, it's not too heavy. They fold up. So, all right, let's see what we got. All right, so so got the panel set up and uh, plugged in. Uh, my initial thought was how short the, uh, the cord is for the solar panels. It's probably only like, I don't know, four or five feet long, so you can't get the unit very far. Um, I do have a extension cable coming from Goal Zero, um, so I'll check that out. Uh, interested to see how much insertion loss extra length of cable provides. But um, I got them pointed pretty much at the sun. Here they are, Boulder 100, the briefcases, they fold up, um, they have these kickstand, kickstand legs that come down, um, and they fold back into one another. One weird thing is that they, when it's folded up, the actual solar glass is on the outside. I thought they would have done that differently uh, for protection, but um, I don't know, maybe they're, maybe the, the glass and whatnot is strong enough. They claim it's, it's really strong. Uh, material so maybe it doesn't matter but uh, they're really nice really high quality kind of a rubberized uh, foot on the end of every corner that for uh, like shock protection it's pretty nice um, really well built latches folded up and then the other side has a uh, carry handle when you're carrying it around uh, like a suitcase and then uh, let's take a look here at the, the Yeti 400 um, looks like currently getting 48 49 watts in or so it was just up in the 70s and then it went down to the 60s so I don't know I'm not a solar expert but uh, that's cool it's charging um, maybe I'll grab a grab my laptop or grab my cell phone plug that in and so we can see a discharge and a charge at the same time and like I said it, it I only uh, charged a little bit this, or used it to charge on a little bit this morning, so it was only 83% or so when we started charging. So it is what it is. Pretty cool. Let me go plug something in. All right, so went and grabbed my laptop. Got my MacBook Pro here plugged in and charging. And the sun kind of just went behind the clouds. So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, yeah, definitely. You can tell. 14 watts in. Oh, I didn't turn it on, so here, let's turn that on real quick. Each individual, individual section you turn on. So the inverter section, uh, you have to turn it turn it on. If you wanted to use the, uh, the USB ports, you would turn, uh, you know, hit this button, turn them on. Um, same with the 12-volt uh, the cigarette lighter. Um, you would actually turn, turn that section on, um, which is nice because you can turn things off and on, so. So yeah, it looks like, oh, sun just came back out from under the clouds, so it's popping back up. Uh, 47 in and almost 47 out, so breaking even here. Um, pretty cool. Um, so far, uh, obviously we haven't really used it um, out on the property or anywhere, and we've only had it about a day now, so I can't really give a good opinion, but just overall quality, everything's really well built, really easy to use. Uh, the uh, the solar panel 
a really good quality. Everything, you know, it, it's what you'd expect from something uh, in this price range. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how this works out for us, uh, making several trips up there and using it overnight. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Goal Zero Yeti 400 lithium with the Boulder 100 solar panels. Um, initial, initial kind of unboxing and uh, playing around with it. Okay, one last thing. So if you were like me and you were wondering when it was bright sun and I was only seeing like, like I guess at like 60, 70 at, at one point and then up and down, uh, why, I'm not, why you're not getting 100 watts out of a 100 watt panel. So I, I had the same, same questions and uh, one of the things that I read was, so when these panel manufacturers uh, certify their panels or for what their, their wattage is for, they do it in a laboratory environment with the perfect, perfect environmental settings to get that 100 watt and you're not expected to ever see that out in real world conditions. Um, so it's kind of a bogus marketing thing. However, uh, which is kind of cool for Goal Zero, is all of the times and marketing material they give you on their website and in the manuals and whatnot is based on what you should see in real world. Um, yeah, and like I said, the sun just went back behind the clouds, so we're seeing next to nothing here, eight watts in. Um, but, but I thought that was pretty cool of them, um, that they would actually, they wouldn't try to um, feed you a line of BS. It's actual, it's kind of what you expect, the charge times on what you should see on these. So so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there because uh, I kind of had the same thoughts in the bright sun, um, but uh, did some reading and there you go. All right, now you guys uh, have a great weekend and uh, we'll catch you around soon.